Hi everybody, good, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome along, this is our 6.15 circuit we're just getting ready for. So um, say hi as you join us, it's always good to know who's here. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty yesterday with our daytime class, but we've got all sorted today. Um, we're going to do our warm-up firstly. Uh, warm-up's about 10 minutes long, uh, 10 to 15 minutes we're looking for a warm-up. Uh, and then uh, we'll go into our main circuit. Now, let's just have a quick look at the old um, RPE scale here. So just remember that from a perspective, you're looking in your warm-up between sort of 9 and 11. <clears throat> and when we get into our main circuit, we're looking around the 12, 13, 14 mark, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a frog in the throat. So, uh, as always, we've got seven stations for you tonight. Um, we have Lee, we have Ben, we have John, and we have Becky with us. Um, they're going to be doing the circuit with you, so we'll get that ready in a moment. Uh, but from your perspective, make sure you've got some space around. If you want to use some weights and you've got them at home, then get hold of those. If you don't have any weights, then um, stuff you can find around the house can be useful. So things like a... Um, a milk bottle, a full pint milk bottle filled with uh, water is going to be about two and a half kilograms there. You can use tins, bottles of, uh, smaller bottles of water, um, things that are filled with sand, anything like that really. So uh, say hi as you come on board. Hi to Deborah, hi to Pete, to Paul, and hi to Damien. I'll get the gang to say hello to you in a minute as well. Um, and make sure you've got plenty of space around you as well. Also make sure you've got some water available. Hi Richie. Uh, Someone had the paintbrushes out. No, no, we're in that, we, you've not been up here before, have you? This is our upstairs uh, space. So we're, we're upstairs today, uh, testing it out, see what it's gonna be like, because obviously when, we're, when we do get back, if we continue to do this as well, then we won't be able to utilize the space downstairs. So we've come upstairs, hence the, the paint job. Well, I'll, I'll show you around in a minute. Um, paintbrushes have been out though, actually. Everywhere's been painted. Uh, to uh, but that's not a bad thing. So, um, make sure you've got some water available so you can get yourself a, a drink and hydrate yourself at any point you need to as well. Let's just leave in the background look. Um, and we'll get ourselves ready to go. We're going to warm up firstly. So, let's say hello to the team. We go for it. So, we have uh, John down here. Look, there's John. We've got Lee. Hello. We have Ben over here. And we have Becky. So, uh, guys, before we start, where are you going, Lee? Uh, Lee, come back over here. Lee, come back over here. Back over here. Back over here. You're not maintaining social distancing there. Come on, over here. Right, uh, before we go anywhere, come over here. <laughs> before we go anywhere, say hi to Deborah, Paul, Damien and Richie. Good night. Right, let's get ourselves started with a warm up. To start off with, we're going to start with a march. So bring your feet up for me. Uh, you're going to uh, point the toe at the floor firstly and then bring it through to the uh, heel. So let's have a quick look at these feet here, look. So uh, literally what we're doing is we're coming down onto the toes, the ball of the foot, and then rolling through to the heels. Now, if you want to get rid of the comments at the bottom, swipe to the right and they'll be gone. Uh, we'll get this warm up going and then we'll go from there. All right, take your feet to show. And from there, you're going to give me a trunk twist to the side and then back into the centre. Try to keep those hips locked. So have a look at these hips. Look, they don't lie. <laughs> Sorry. A Shakira quote there. Sorry. Um, what you want to keep is the hips locked to the front. So you're twisting through your um, abdominal region and through your trunk. Do what? Sorry? Ben's not doing anything. Ben's the music out. Ben's got his special move to do in a minute anyway. <laughs> so, um, back into the centre, let's take that march in and let's put an arm swing in as well. There we go, look. <laughs> a famous arm swing there. Um, I said to Lee earlier on, I asked him if he'd ever seen the video of Phoebe running, uh, which he hasn't. Did you have a look at it yet? So he's, he's got to have a look at that later because that describes his arms. <laughs> that describes his arms brilliantly. Uh, a bit more effort into this uh, march, yeah? So make it a bit stronger. Bring the knees a little bit higher. Very serious there, Ben. I wasn't picking on you at all. It was just a very serious face. 
And make sure you keep breathing normally as well. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, stop there for me. Take it to shoulders width again and bring your arm down to the side. Back up to the centre and to the side. Just going to come here so you can see the profile of Ben. Because what we're doing is we're bending straight down, straight up. The movement isn't coming forward or backwards. Now, use the seam of your trousers, seam of your shorts or something like that. So you're coming down and lining up. That will help you to go straight down, straight up. Hold it there, come back into a march, and then you're going to give me a knee lift as well. So bring that knee up, and what we're looking for here is the knee coming up just below hip height. A nice plant of that foot back on the floor. So again, you're coming down onto the toes, rolling the ball, and then through to your heels. Think about, think about your ankle, feet, and toes as you do this, and mobilise through there for me. Okay. Brilliant. All right, from there, bring it back in. Take your feet shoulders width. Let's roll those shoulders round. So what I want you to do is bring the shoulders forward, roll them up towards your ears. No, no, no. Bring them forward first. Roll them up towards your ears. Backwards and down. He just heard the word forwards. That's all he heard. So what you're doing is bringing the shoulder blades together, and if you imagine tucking them into your back pocket, so you're bringing them forward and back down. Pressing down with those shoulders, so you're getting yourself into a good postural position. Excellent. From there, bring it back into your march, and let's bring those heels up behind. Kicking towards your bum. Keep that breathing going. <laughs> Ben's obviously had a good day again. <laughs> Have you have you suddenly started drinking caffeinated coffee or something? No? <laughs> hey, that's what it's all about. Um, right, okay, from there, come back into your march. And let's get those swimming arms in. And then let's take it to a breaststroke. Well, I'll tell you about my, my life study, Something I learned today, actually. I was doing, a bit of, I was doing some COVID-19 training over in rugby. And um, swimming's allowed back in from, next, from Friday, isn't it? From Saturday, yeah? But back crawl isn't, and butterfly stroke isn't allowed. Yeah. Back crawl because you may bump into people because you can't see where you and it's to do with the blowing out of the air that people tend to do. Sorry? Yeah. Do what, sorry? Okay, do a little kick turn and turn around and go back the other way then. <laughs> okay, from there, come back into your march. And let's bring that knee lift in and take those arms across. Excellent. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, I did. It's possibly Edem vacuuming outside, isn't it? Okay, and then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to keep, keep the feet marching, but we're going to put them in. So hands together in front, pull it back to the side. And this is, this is Ben's special... What what's going on? He's not doing it today, is he? No, it's what you did in the foot pedal, though. Did I do the foot pedal as well? Yeah, All right. So let's top, change it from a march to a foot pedal. So let's put the foot pedal in. There we go. <laughs> There's your foot pedal and your canoeic motion. <laughs> I think you should put that on TikTok. <laughs> Excellent. And from there, come back into your mind. Higher now with this knee, so it's parallel to the floor. Uh, hip level, keep that breathing going, and let's put that arm swing in, but make it a little bit bigger this time, so you can really go for it, Lee. There you go. <laughs> right. Perhaps, perhaps not quite that big. But <laughs> lovely, lovely. Think about your foot placement still. So let's have no banging of the feet. Coming down onto the toes, rolling through to the ball of the, he the heel. Yeah. So toes, ball, heel. 
No. Keep going, keep going, and then bring it back into your knee lift again. And I want you to put a bit of rotation in there as well, so bring the knee across the body this time. That's it. So we've got some trunk rotation in there again. Leg that's staying on the floor, keep the knee soft, so we're supporting through it. And just to throw an extra challenge in there, opposite arm across to that. No, from up here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> if ever you want to change a career, mate, you can always guide planes in at Birmingham Airport. <laughs> and bring it back into your march. Okay, uh, grab a drink, read one. Uh, let's get ourselves going. Station number one tonight is a hip hinge with a swing. Rolls off the tongue, that does, doesn't it? Hip hinge and swing. So, we have, as always, your three options. We have a uh, starting option, we have an intermediate option, and we have a higher option for you. Our starting option is... <laughs> there you go. So our starting option is with uh, Ben. So this is body weight only, right? So... Have a look at this one. Um, knees are bending, back is staying straight. Hands come in between the legs and then powering up. We put a kettlebell or a weight into it to take it to our intermediate. So if you don't have a kettlebell at home, um, I guess you could use the kettle as long as you empty it first. As long as you empty it. Um, or a weight, yeah? Now if you're gonna use a weight, uh, hold it in a goblet fashion, all right? Have we got any hand weights up here? Um, yeah, so lovely. There's your three options. Then, can you just show me a hold with that? No, like that. That's it. There you go. So hold hold a weight like that. You haven't got what? Haven't got a kettlebell, but you want to use weight. Okay. So we have a minute to go. Let me just get my timer and let's get ourselves ready to go. So one minute and we're off. So as with the same as I showed you with Ben, with all with every option you take, the back is staying straight. The knees are bent, you're bringing it through and you're powering back up through your shoulders to bring that weight up, regardless of what you're going for, okay? Keep the feet on the floor and you've got a wide base of support. So your feet are about shoulders width or a little bit wider, um, so you've got that good base of support to work from. Take a rest if you need to, but try and keep going for the whole minute. You're all past your 30 seconds. Keep breathing normally, not too high as far as this weight is concerned, so you'll see that Lee's bringing it no higher than head height. You don't want it to go right above your head. We've got a little bit lower uh, because it's a little lower in the intensity as far as um, Becky is concerned and as far as Ben's concerned, the arms are just coming up to shoulder height as well, but we don't want to be taking it right over our head. You okay there, Lee? That is time, well done, moving on. Station number two is hamstring curls around the world. Hamstring curls around the world, look. They all have a different way of doing it, depending on which Is that right? So we're going on a tour around the world with our base, our starting position first, which is John. Uh, what country is this from, John? Sweden. Sweden? So do you have, yeah, you have to go straight up, 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 up. Slip the birdie. <laughs> you obviously, you obviously never watch from a pit. <laughs> this is the Swedish chef. Uh, which country are you going for, Ben? Denmark. Okay, give us a bit of Danish then. Bit, a bit of Danish. Danish bacon. That'll do. And Becky is our higher level. So. Uh, what country are you going for? What country are you going for, Becky? Okay, so, your three options. Are you ready? Let's go. So, back is straight. You'll notice here, this is the main difference here, look. Narrower stance as far as our intermediate is concerned. It's a slower move, yeah? As we take it to the advanced level, a bit faster with those moves, it's a bit wider with the stance, so we've got that real shift of weight from side to side. 
whereas in our intermediate, the weight is all through the, the center of the body, and we're just making sure that the supporting legs stay soft, as it does with any of them. Here, as far as our starting position is concerned, we're putting your own resistance in. So if you don't have a weight, you can still add that resistance in. And what I mean by that is control the arms, make a bold movement. Likewise with your if you're going to use those weights, then what you want to do is control the weight on the lower part of it. So as you bring the weight down, don't let it dictate the speed. Make sure you're in control, okay? Keep going, we're almost there. And that is your time, folks. Well done. Okay, we're moving on. Station number three is our core rotation. Is that right? Core rotation, station number three. We have our base, we have our intermediate, and we have our main advanced level. So, this is our base level, our starting position. Hands together in front, twisting through. Slight rotation through the hips there, but you'll notice the feet are staying on the floor, okay? We come to our intermediate. Uh, John is our intermediate. We've got a weight and we're holding it away from the body about shoulder height. Again, feet are still staying on the floor. And then we come to Ben, who's our top level. Uh, a bit more of a dynamic swing there. And you'll notice that as he turns, he's coming up onto the balls of his foot and his toes on the opposite leg. So choose which one you want. You look very thoughtful there, Ben. Uh, uh, Lee, sorry. Who are you? It is dangerous, yeah. Okay, we ready? Let's go. So, uh, movement from base level, starting to the higher position, is a little bit difficult because you need to pick a weight up. You'll also notice that we've got a bit of a pause in the middle there, okay? Same when we come to uh, our little pause in the middle. Now, try and hold the weight away from the body. Too much, to make this a little bit easier, you can bring the weight into your chest. That will take uh, some of the input out of it. As far as Ben is concerned, he rotation which is continuous. There's no pause in the centre this time. Coming up onto the balls of the feet and the toes. Make sure you don't hyperextend back too much. So don't throw it back. Control it. And again, if you wanted to make this a little bit easier, you could bring that weight into your chest. To make it uh, it's going to be a bit harder to keep it dynamic um, once you bring it into the chest because you lose that bit of impetus. Would you agree? Yeah, you lose that bit of impetus from the weight being away from you. That is your minute, folks. Well done. We're moving on to station number three, the same position from the side. Yeah? So feet flat on the floor, wide base of support to work from. And then we come to John, who's our advanced level. A little bit faster, a bit more impetus in there, and a pause on the third one. 3D on it. Yeah, got some, yeah. There we go. We're back. Sorry. We're back. Where were we? <laughs> no. Nice try, John. But no. Uh, so, uh, the difference there was it was a continuous movement. Sorry, that's what I was about to say. So, it's a continuous movement. It's a little bit faster. It's so a bit more impetus in there. Yep. Okay. Choose which one you're going to go for. And let's start our minute. Off we go. So, sit back into it, regardless of which level you use. Yeah? You sit back into it. You keep the chest lifted. Power through. So as you come up, push through the weight, push the weight down through your heels, power up and push that weight above your head. However, don't lock your knees out. So when you come back up, we don't lock the knees. This pause down there, up to about five seconds, um, but it doesn't have to be. You, you do as long as you feel comfortable with, but you really know want, want no more than about five seconds. Yep, lovely. Okay, keep driving through. Focus on your technique, so keep Keep the posture strong so we're not putting any pressure onto the back. And again, as you push that weight or you push the arms above your head, don't let your elbows knock, knock out. So you uh, keep some flexibility in there as well. We're almost done. Now, obviously, you can move between levels here from intermediate to the higher level by slowing it down. That is your uh, minute. Or taking the pause out. Station number five is our reverse flies, okay? So our reverse flies, again, we have three options for you. We have a, a starting position, an intermediate position, and a higher position. Our starting position is over here with Ben. So split stance there, look. I'm gonna come around to the side so you can see. Um, 
split stance enables uh, Ben to lean forward, but keep a straight posture down through the back, okay? We then come to Becky, who's our intermediate. Thank you, Ben. Um, we've got more of a, a, t a tip of the pelvis there. So rather than just a lean, we've tipped from the hips, yeah? Again, bringing those weights back and bringing them out to the side. So there's weights added on on this, and it's a bit more of a tip. Then we come to Lee. And I can't think of anything to say. Uh, I can. So again, can you notice in there that um, foot is back, he's onto the toes. Um, we're going to tell you when 30 seconds is there so you can change your level. And there's a, um, a little bit of a heavier weight in there, Lee, yeah? Okay. All right. Let's go for it then. So choose which one you want, and off we go. So, the reason I pointed out the feet, because if you have a look, Ben, Becky have their feet on the floor. Lee is the one who has it. So that intermediate level, you're bringing yourself into a, the toes on the back. So you're challenging your balance as well, okay? Firmer position as far as both Ben and Becky are concerned. A slower, controlled move from Becky. And it's tilted uh, from the hip. So we've got that hip hinge, so we're adding that extra impetus in there. Okay, that is your 30 seconds, so change your leg over if you've gone for... Well, you've all got a split stance. It's just uh, how that stance is put into place. Yep. Make sure you don't throw the shoulders back. So as you bring those arms out, try and keep the shoulders still. Yeah, so don't stand up any further. Don't lift yourself. Just stay where you are as far as that movement is concerned. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. And that is your minute, folks. Well done. Moving on. Station number six is high knees. Rather than high T, it's high knee. So again, we have three options for you. Our starting position is John. Um, come around to the side for you again so you can see uh, posture, because posture is really important. So straight back, lifting, coming down onto the ball of the foot first and rolling through the heel so it's a gentle landing. Um, an arm movement, the opposite arm is coming forward. We then come to our intermediate, which is Ben today. And our intermediate is a little bit faster. And we're bringing the elbows across towards the uh, um, knees or the forearms. Yeah, so it's a little bit more of a twist in there. And then we come to our advanced position, uh, which is Becky. And Becky has high knees there. So we just have a... Just have a quick look at the side, Becky. Keep going, do it again for me. So although it's a bit of a, a jog on the spot, it's onto the toes, yes? Yeah? So the heels aren't coming down, um, and it's a straight back. Okay, moving on then. So you ready? Let's go with our minute. So we'll check in with each of them, see how they're doing. So there's controlled movement in there, yeah? So there's our intermediate. And then let's have a quick look at our advanced level as well. So we'll come across to Becky with our advanced level. There we go, yeah? And then we'll come back down the line. So, uh, controlled movements the whole time, yeah? Um, take the pace as you want it. So if you're in doing the advance and you want to slow it down a bit, you can slow it down. You can still keep it a bit continuous, uh, but it doesn't have to be as fast as, as that. If you want to bring it down a bit, you can. Likewise, if you want to speed it up a bit, you can as well. Good job, Becky, you're doing really well. Keep going. And try and keep the head lifted as well, so we're not looking down, so we're not challenging our balance. And try and make sure that you keep the, the spine in a good neutral position as well. So shoulders are lifted up, back and down, and we're driving through. You have two seconds left. That is your time. Good job. Moving on, our last station. Station number seven is our side lunge with a lateral raise. Side lunge with a lateral raise. Okay, so we have our starting position. Our starting position is Lee. So we have us out to the side and a lateral raise. So as you step out to the side, toes come down first and then you come through to uh, the ball of the foot and the heel, bringing the feet back together, but don't bring them right together, okay? Arms coming out to the side with a uh, raise of those arms. Then we come to our intermediate, which has the same position, but some weight in. Lovely. And then we take it to our advanced option, and this is more continuous. So it's a step and step straight out again. 
the, the big blowout of air is crucial to that as well. So uh, make sure you do that one, okay? Right, have we got our minute ready? Let's go. So with everybody, it's still a foot placement down with the toes and then down through to your heel. Pace is controlled on all of them. It's a little bit of a slower pace as far as uh, John is concerned with the intermediate than it is, than it is for Ben. What's he like? Than it is for Ben. Um, but it's the same movement basically, yeah? Ben's just keeping it continuous, so it's not getting that little pause in the middle. Weights are coming no higher than your shoulders. And if you take in the starting option, control the arms, so resist against that. Imagine you've got something you need to lift up and push, and uh, keep going for it, yep. Keep the back straight, keep breathing, focus on your posture. I uh, see so you do really well here, Ben. Lovely job, lovely job. Keep going, keep going. We're almost there, folks. Stay strong, stay focused. Most of all, stay in the workout for us, okay? That is your minute. Circuit one, done. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. Have a march on the spot. Have a little um, walk around the house. So you're keeping the feet moving, but you're having a little bit of a breather as well, okay? Really important that you do that. Um, just don't stop totally. Make sure the feet stay moving the whole time for you, all right? Grab a drink, pay a visit, anything you need to do, but just make sure those feet stay moving. Right, how are we doing? We're we doing all right, everybody. So, um, just to fill you in on a few things. So remember, we have our um, circuit classes on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. Your Tuesday circuit classes at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. Wednesday, you have a um, evening class at 6.15, which you know about because you're here at the moment. Um, coming middle of August, we have an additional class as well, which is uh, based on three-dimensional movements, which are functional movements in a three-dimensional plane. So rather than just focusing on uh, sidewards or forwards and backwards, it's taking together those three-dimensional moves. Now, the thing with three-dimensional movement is that it's, we do a lot of it in our day-to-day -day life, but we never actually focus on it. So that's a chance for you to actually focus on it and for you to think about how the body is moving, how things are reacting. So where are supporting parts, where are moving parts? It's also good for your muscle memory and for your brain because the brain learns how, which muscles it needs to tighten and loosen to do a specific task. Okay, so that's coming middle of August, but we've got plenty more circuits before then. Plenty more. Plenty more. Okay, how are we all doing, folks? Are we okay? Yeah, we all okay? Brilliant. So you'll notice that everybody is still keeping their distance here. They're still socially distancing. Um, and we're going to go back to station number one. Round number two. Station number one was your hip hinge with a swing. Yeah, and we had our starting position, which was Ben. So it's like a silent disco, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and then we have Becky, who is our intermediate. So we're just adding that weight in. And then we have Lee, who bit of a heavier weight, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a heavier weight. You can make the movement bigger to get the same increase in intensity, yeah? All right, so we've got a minute on the clock. Are we ready? Let's go! So again, just focus on posture. So um, bending at the knees, but the knees are staying in line with the, the feet, yeah? So you're staying in line and not letting the knees any come further, any further, sorry than the shoelaces, yeah? It's a sit back into it. So the bottom goes back to create that range of movement for you to be able to get the um, weight swinging up or the arms swinging up. No higher than shoulder height, keeping breathing, keeping the back straight and focusing on it. Now again, control it. So with, a, with the likes of a kettlebell, you've got a bit of the weight pulling you down, but still put a bit of control in there, yeah? Never lose control of this movement. And again, remember, if you don't have weights at home, bottles, tins, potato bags, anything like that. And if you're feeling stronger, you can even put some potatoes in the potato bag. Um, you just need some weight or not. If you're not using weight, then resist against it yourself. Okay, we're on our way back to Sweden, Denmark, and somewhere else. And we've had a change. Denmark has moved to the higher position. So, we have our starting position. No weight in there, 
but still control movements. We have our intermediate position, which has the weight in, that heel kick up behind, that hamstring curl, and the weight in there. And then we take it to the advanced level, which is a little bit more continuous. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. So, focus on your technique again. Focus on your foot placement. So it's a soft landing onto the feet. You're coming down onto the toes, rolling through to the heel. You're controlling that weight as you're doing it, okay? It's a kick of the bum up behind. Now, if for any reason you get uncoordinated as far as this is concerned, you can lose the legs. You could just bring uh, the arms in to so stay with that round the world if you wanted to, yeah? So Becky's going to give you a demonstration of that now. So you can lose the legs and just focus on the arms. That way you're still going to get your workout. Sometimes if we, if we lose our coordination with a particular move, we lose it totally. So it gives you an opportunity just to focus on that part of the movement. Come on, Ben, you're doing really well. Really well. So that continuous movement's a little bit faster. And remember with this movement that goes above your head, any limitation as far as your shoulders are concerned, you can just take it to where you feel comfortable. You have two seconds left now, Ben. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. There you are, there is your minute. Moving on, station number three. We're gonna rotate the core with our core rotations. So we have our starting position, which is Young Lee here, look. And hands in front, rotating through, feet flat on the floor. We come to John, who is going to take it, feet flat on the floor again. A weight in there, holding the weight away from the body. And then we come to Ben, who has a continuous swing from side to side. But have a look at the feet. As he swings it, uh, he's coming up onto his toes. Now, with that swing, whether you're in an intermediate or an advanced level, don't get out of control with it, okay? You ready? Let's go. So, this circuit, this round, is your opportunity to try and push yourself a little bit harder if you can. So you know what all the stations are. You can go to the next level if you want to. Uh, that's your basic level, your starting position. This is our intermediate. So again, it's a control move. And that's that pause in the middle, as there is with the, with the starting position, okay? It's when we come to the um, higher option, the more intense option, that you have that uh, rotation that is continuous from side to side. And particularly on this one, it's, it's important that you control that weight. So don't let get, get carried away with it. Control it so you maintain the quality. It's not necessarily about the uh, speed um, and it's not necessarily about the number of movements. It's about the quality of them. Yep, make sure we don't injure ourselves. We, don't we, uh, we give ourselves protection. We are almost there, folks. Come on, you can do this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now stop. There we go. There is your minute. We move on. Station number four. It's a squat and press. Squat and press. This is a great one to do, just not after a curry. Our starting position is Becky. Sorry. Sitting back into it, powering through the heels to power up. Intermediate is Lee. Again, exactly the same position, but with the move uh, of a weight added to it. And then we come to our advance. John hiding behind the ball there, look. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and continuous. It's a little bit. Has a hold on every third one. John, do you want to just tuck your tassels into your... <laughs> It's, not, it's because it looks obscene on here. Are you ready? A minute to go. It's like, it's like Ben with the cones last week all over again. Are you ready? Let's go. So down and up. Down and up. Pushing down, powering up. Yep. Now, John, in all seriousness, and his tassels, his tassels tucked away, and even that sounds bad in itself. Has got that hold. Every third one you're doing, John? Every third, there's the hole down there. Up to about five seconds, but you do what you feel comfortable with. Now, you can also change that by changing the rate of it. So if you want to do every fifth, for instance, you could. You could make it a little bit easier. Stuck. <laughs> He's stuck. Um, can we get some WD-40 for John? He's, he's stuck in position. Um, sit back into it. Power through. Push the power up through your heels. Really focus on keeping your back straight. <laughs> Keep your back straight. 
and uh, make sure that you keep that weight close into the body. You're almost there. Look, you have the last few seconds, but just be able to catch this last squat there. There you go, lovely. Your minute done. We move on. Station number five. Station number five is our reverse of flies. There we go. So our reverse fly, station number five. Our starting position is over here. With Ben, is this a change again as well? You have, no, no, this is what I was before, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, a split stance, but feet flat on the floor. We come to our intermediate, which again is a split stance, feet on the floor. There's a more of a hip hinge from Becky at this one, so he's hinging more from the hip. It's more of a lean from uh, Ben. And then we come to Lee, who is onto his toes on that back foot, aren't you, Lee? Onto your toes, Lee. Yeah, right on your toes, Lee. Come on, that's better. Into, into ballet position, Lee. Come on. There we go. So we're, you don't have to come right onto your toes, by the way. You don't have to come right onto your toes. Um, but the, the key thing there is the heels lifted, yeah? Split stance. So after 30 seconds, I'll give you the shout and we'll go for it. Yeah, off we go. So with everybody, as I mentioned that uh, Ben was leaning. Um, it's, it's a... The position is, he's tilting forward slightly, but it's a straight line down through the back. Now, if I come around this way, you can see why I point that out, because the difference is, when we actually hip hinge, you can see there's a physical bend from the hips to build, bring the upper body forward a little bit, yep. Um, and that allows to add that extra um, intensity in there by uh, tilting forward, you okay? Oh, 30 seconds is gone, sorry. Change legs. Um, I was too busy looking at hip hinges. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, the hip hinge allows you to uh, put some more emphasis onto the back of the shoulders with that fly because you are um, lifting from a, a tipped position, yeah? So you're having to make the shoulders work a little bit harder. We're almost there. You have three seconds left unless your name is Lee. And then you're just going to keep going. That is your minute. Okay, station number six, sorry. Station number six is our high knees. So, again, we have our starting, we have our intermediate, and we have our advanced level. Our starting position is John, a controlled um, movement, just like an exaggerated walk almost, yeah? Um, feet coming down onto the floor. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, John. I just mean that it, it's that motion. It's controlled, it's thought out, it's uh, delivered with meaning, yeah? There's our intermediate, a little bit faster, and an arm twist. So we're bringing the forearms across. And then we come to our advanced option, which is Becky, who's going to go for it again. There we are, look. So it's a bit like a, a jog onto the balls of the feet and the toes, yeah? Lovely. So a minute to go, off you are. Off you trot. Off you trot. Yeah, off you are. Off you are going. So, um, just to clarify, what I meant when I talked about John and it's a bit like a, a controlled walk, it's a bit, it is like an exaggerated walk if you think about it, yeah? So it's that movement of hinging from your hip, bringing the knee up, working into your hip flexors, uh, and controlled the whole time, yeah? So it's a thought-out movement. It's a thought-out placement of the feet. Um, bit looser as far as Ben is concerned in as much as it's a, a more dynamic movement and then we come to Becky who is that higher option who's keeping it continuous and really really going for it um, so focus on your back focus on your foot position focus on your breathing keep breathing naturally in through your nose and out through your mouth you're doing brilliant here look you have Last couple of seconds to go, and that is your time. That is your minute. Moving on, our final station is number seven. And that is our... If you can, Side... I'll just take this one, don't worry. That's our side lunge with a lateral raise. And in our starting position, we have Lee. So foot placement, toe down first through to the heel. Uh, taking the arms out to the side. Um, uh, trying to think what he looks like. I've got a few words, yeah. I have as well, but none that I can say on here. Um, <laughs> we go to John, um, who exactly the same movement, but there's some weight in there. 
But there's a, there's a real difference in the way you do that, John, to the way that Lee does. No, I'm not saying that. I'm trying, I'm trying to conjure up the image. Uh, then we get to Ben, who's our advanced level, so it's a continuous movement. So you'll have noticed with both Lee and with John, there's a bit of a pause in the middle. Are you ready for your minute? Let's go. It's just come to me what it is. You look as though um, you're about to jump off a cliff with a hang glider. It's that sort of... Yeah, it's that sort of, that's, what's, that's what came into my head. And obviously John does it because he's got weights, you know. If you're going to jump off a cliff with, with weights as well, then you're stupid, basically, aren't you? Oh! <laughs> a continuous movement here. Um, what I want you to do is when you come back in, don't put your feet right together. So keep a distance of, of your hips between you. Purely because if we put our feet together totally, then what we do is we give ourselves a, a narrower base of support. It challenges our balance, and we don't really want to challenge your balance on this. It's not about balance um, training. It's about strength, and it's about endurance. Remember with your uh, starting position with any of these, if you're not using weight, just put that endurance in there yourself. Just put that resistance in there yourself. And we'll just catch up with Ben, who's just finishing off there for us. Lovely. That is your circuit for tonight, folks. So have a little bit of a march on the spot. Have a little bit of a cool down. You need to be cooling down for at least five, ideally ten minutes, yeah? Um, have a real good cool down for us. A little march on the spot, keeping the feet moving. Start higher, bring it down gradually. So you bring yourself down through that uh, cool down, yep? Less of the pace, bring the heart rate down, bring the breathing back down to where it should be. You want to end up at the end of this, as you were at the start, breathing and heart rate wise, yep? So you don't want to have a, a racing heartbeat still. So, we're going to leave you in a minute to actually get on with that cool down, but just make sure you do it. Make sure you hydrate yourself as well. I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know what you thought of it today. It's always good to have some feedback. But also let us know uh, what you thought of it in this setting as well, because we're in the studio upstairs. Uh, so it's always good to get some feedback, some live feedback from people as how that was. Let's say goodbye to everybody. So we've got John over here. Bye, Bye John. Bye. Ben. Bye. We've got Becky here. And just hiding over there in the corner, look, is me. <laughs> Okay, bye everybody, take care, have a great week. We'll see you next Tuesday for circuits at 11 and next Wednesday at 6.15. Um, have a great week everybody, take care, bye bye.